Ladies and gentlemen, today we bring you another epic map port in the Carnivore's legacy, the Great Lake! Whoa, 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 wait a minute, what the hell? I thought we just did this map already! We did, but this is version 2.3! But what's the difference? There's a big smelly lake in the middle. <sighs> Whatever, whatever, just click on the big yellow shiny button to go subscribe to the creator's channel. Do it now, or certain doom will be brung upon you. Please, do it before he beats me up. He always beats me up if he doesn't get his way. <laughs> no, will you guys stop it already? It's fucking Christmas! Yeah, sorry about that total randomness at the beginning, but anyway, what is up guys? Merry Christmas to you all! Alien Dinosaur Hunter here bringing you some Carnivores 2 gameplay on the Great Lake! Most of this is version 2.2 gameplay, version 2.3 isn't shown to like the very end, but I'm just gonna mark it at the top right corner of the screen on what version's what. But yeah, most of you probably wondering, what am I doing uploading a Christmas commentary before Christmas? Well, I'm gonna be getting some pretty big presents for Christmas, and I figured to get a video up now than like, never. And sorry for that video skip there, that was a pretty B shot, but the recorder cut out on me on the last second. Sometimes I hate the free version of Fraps, because it will record for 30 seconds, and right when I'm about to do something sick, the video recorder stops, and I have to hurry up and record it again. This thing sucks. If anything, I might actually go on and get the full version sometime in the future. With that being said, anyway, Christmas is just right around the corner, and I've got something to ask you guys. What do you guys want for Christmas? Well, if you guys wanted to ask me that, I have four things on my Christmas list I want. And those things are... Battlefield 3... FOR THE WIN! A new iPod dock, an iTunes gift card, and some Microsoft headsets. Sorry guys, I really didn't have any interest in getting Modern Warfare 3 for Christmas for many, many reasons. Probably reasons you guys have heard plenty, plenty times. Just, I have my mind set on getting other things than that game. I mean, I don't think it's bad, it's not the worst game in the world, like I said, but I have better games on my mind than Call of Duty. I mean, I might do, I might get it at, sometime after Christmas, maybe get it from a friend or a used copy at GameStop, and then I could get, like, dual commentary with Bob, because I'm not going to lie, the Black Ops dual com I did with him was pretty cool. But yeah, guys, overall, Modern Warfare 3... Not on my mind. Not saying it's a bad game and all. I like I said, maybe later I'll get it. But yeah. Right now I'm focused on Battlefield 3. Yay. Anyway, another thing I wanted to talk about in this commentary was I kinda have a childhood story to tell you guys. A Christmas childhood story. But before I begin with this story, I wanna ask you guys this. When you were little, have you ever been so excited for Christmas you couldn't sleep at all because you were just too excited to wake up and see what Santa got you for Christmas? Well, I'm one of those kids, and between the years of 6 and 14, every year on Christmas, I would be up to like the crack of dawn, only get like maybe 3 hours of sleep because I was just so excited for Santa to come, see what he got me, and enjoy the whole day playing with all the cool things Santa got me for Christmas. Let this be noted guys, I don't believe in Santa Claus anymore, I stopped believing in him when I was 13, 
but still to this day do I find the character Santa Claus to be really freaking awesome. Along with most of the other iconic Christmas characters of today like Frosty the Snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, or hell, the Coca-Cola Bears. <laughs> But yeah, even in those years I didn't believe in Santa Claus, I would still be up half the night just anticipating to go downstairs and open up my gifts. Cause, let's be honest, the one thing more fun than seeing what you got for Christmas is ripping apart the wrapping paper. Well, that was half the fun for me. I was more or less excited to see if I got everything I wanted for Christmas. And by the way, tell me if this isn't a load of bullshit right here. How the heck did it know I was that far away? Heck, guys, play back the video. I did not make a single gunshot to alert it or any T-Rex calls to catch its attention. Oh, well, that's just a common bug. I've had that happen to me a couple times where the T-Rexes would just have super sensitive sights, hearing, and sense of smell. Oh, well. But usually those who can track me from that far away end up dying. <laughs> Cause I'm just that freaking awesome. And right here is a pretty intense clip. I thought I was gonna die here, but I end up bagging the Rex anyway. And I'm getting a little off topic from what I was talking about earlier. But yeah, throughout my childhood, every Christmas Eve, I'd be super excited, get like maybe five hours of sleep, and be up the whole night just waiting to go downstairs and open presents. But yeah, I kid you not, guys, one of the Christmas Eve nights I would be up throughout. Um, I forget what years this was, but as usual, I was up early in the morning watching the clock ticking. And I have a brother who has the same problem, and we share the same bedroom. He kind of has the same problem, too. Every Christmas Eve, he'd be up, like, at the crack of dawn, just wanting to open presents himself. And... One night, we were both up, and we sung that song from the Spongebob Christmas special more than, like, 60 times. We were just up the whole night singing that song, waiting for our mom and dad to get up, take us downstairs so we can open up our Christmas presents. But yeah, that is one Christmas Eve night I am never gonna forget. Most of the other ones I can't think of at the moment. I've probably forgotten them by now, but oh well. I still remember all those times where I'll be up pretty much the whole night again, wanting to go downstairs, open Christmas presents, as I've said a quadrillion times throughout this commentary and whatnot. But yeah, those days are over. I can actually go to bed now on Christmas Eve and get some decent shut eye and not be so excited about opening presents. But yeah, let me know in the comment section below if you were like this when you were a little kid, because I'm pretty sure most of my viewers were, if not are at this moment because as most of you could probably guess I kind of have some 10 year olds, 8 year olds watching my videos because they like playing this game too either though they're not our proper age but their parents say this game's okay solely because dinosaurs are in it kind of like talk back in uh, 1990s or back in the glory days of the N64 parents really didn't care if that game was them or not as long as dinosaurs were in it it was a okay by them. Oh, and here is version 2.3 finally. I didn't get much recorded because I was mostly recording for version 2.2 until I got updated or told by one of my friends that there's a 2.3 version out and I've already had like 80% of this video made. So yeah, this this is all I've got of 2.3, and you can see we are nearing the end of this video. And as you can see, I dive right into this dino poop infested water. I mean, my gosh, could you imagine visiting this place? I mean, sure, the sights would be great, but I can't imagine how this lake would smell. And if it smells bad, it probably ain't safe to drink or be in. Could you imagine a brachiosaurus being in this? lake and eating the plants out of the water or drinking it it'd be like yuck but yeah just sitting here taking the dirty water like a man just showing some gameplay of the lake cause as the two guys said at the beginning 
Poha Rex added the lake to this map. And, uh... Oh, before this slips by my mind, I found two other files in the 2.3 version of this map. It said, The Great Lake Future. Is there a 2.4 version being worked on? I don't know. If Poharex, if you're watching this, let me know what that file is. I haven't checked that out yet. I probably will by the time this video is uploaded, but I would like to know what it is, just so I could possibly make a video out of it, but yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to have more Great Lake videos coming soon, if not more Carnivores 1 maps ported to Carnivores 2. And let me know in the comments below on what you guys thought of the video. And let me know what you guys would think of Battlefield 3 videos, because I can actually get a couple dual commentaries with some of my friends. So it's something fun to do. Anyway, this is Alien Dinosaur Hunter signing out and wishing all my fans and new people that watch this video a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.